it. Remember on TikTok, it's Anna Sitar, something like that. Uh, and all her videos should be like, another day, another Starbies. That's how I feel. Another day, another 5.30 a.m. Jim Marco. <laughs> We are after the holiday Monday. Today feels like the real start of week two. Um, I only got a very light workout, like half hour workout in the basement yesterday. I was chatting with my friend today, talking about how I couldn't go to the gym and do my regular workout. And I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do then. And I reminded myself about Pamela Reith, right? I don't know. Um, she used to be honestly like huge on YouTube. I think she like still is, but I used to do her program and I loved it. Honestly, I loved doing her program and I actually saw like really good results from her workouts that I was doing. So I was like, since I can't go to the gym and like, lift weights and use the machines that I usually like. Let's do some Pam. So uh, you can go to her Instagram and find programs there. You can, She also has an app and then it connects to all of her videos that are on YouTube. So a lot of, a lot, a lot of free content, which is awesome. I'm going to start with a 15 minute booty workout impact. <laughs> COVID, I love at home workouts, and now it just like I just crave being in a gym environment. I was up late editing last night, which probably wasn't the best, so I'm not I don't have as much sleep as I had hoped. But one thing I noticed was that in the first clip, so day one, I my face was just so swollen like just so puffy and then just a few days later in the clips after making sure I'm drinking my water, working out, eating better, my face swelling like goes down so much and so I noticed that like after I've had a weekend of like maybe binging on the not the best foods like you see it in my face I even feel like a little bit puffy today um but it was just like a little observation that I noticed and uh I weighed myself this morning and I'm not very happy so even though I think I did much better this past weekend in not binging as much I think I still could have done a way better job and I'm just I'm determined to get myself in check on the nutrition front this week <laughs> done took a midweek rest day which is what I enjoy um I don't know it was a little bit difficult getting up this morning but I am aware that I have a really really busy weekend coming up I'm gonna be out of town and I'm probably not gonna get in great workouts it'll probably just be some outdoor walks I told myself that you needed to go today and it is cardio day I need a good cardio day I put on my it's not like a waist trainer but it's like a, a Teflon waist wrap um, and basically it just makes you sweat more in that stomach region 
and I don't really know uh, if it works. I don't know. But it makes me sweaty and I like it, so. My mom gave me this aura in her beauty collagen because she just had it lying around and she just wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, I don't think she enjoyed mixing it. It's definitely, I think I've tried it on its own, it's not great. <laughs> um, but if you throw it in something, taste it. And who is going to say no to free collagen? We've got our omega-3 plus vitamin D. I add in a little more vitamin D. Um, I just had this lying around and I knew that I should probably be taking it. And then adding vitamin D is one of the things that I'm taking to balance my hormones. Um, and then my other supplements that I take to help with the rebalancing of my hormones, I'll show you guys later. But I'm running late, I gotta go. I gotta get out the door to the gym. It's leg day and I wanna make sure I have enough time. I don't know when I became a socks and sandals type girl, but it's just the vibe, it's just the vibe. Sorry, not sorry. Good morning, welcome to my 5 a.m. morning routine. I keep my morning routine very, very simple before I head to the gym. I get up at five and then the goal is to be at the gym by 5.30. What I have found works best is that 5 a.m. morning alarm goes off and you hop out of bed right away. There's no time to question whether or not you're gonna go, whether or not you're gonna sleep in another five, ten minutes. You just get up and go. And that is really the secret to me getting up at 5 a.m. And it gets easier. It gets easier.
Good morning. Good morning. You're weak. Yeah. Make yourself some cereal. Normally I'd be making the kids lunch, but it's fun lunch day. Which means he only needs a snack. Right? Yogurt too? Yeah. What else do you want for a snack? nutritionist but I'm just curious what are your thoughts on these pre-made protein shakes uh, I did not have time to make myself a breakfast and after workout obviously I'm starving so I just stopped at the gas station on my way to work and picked up this muscle milk protein shake and um, I don't know, lots of people tell me that, that it's so bad for you because it's all processed and everything. And, you know, I agree that it's probably not something I should have every single day. But every once in a while. I never formally ended the vlog, but thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of week two. We are well on our way into week three at this point. I'm sorry this got uploaded so late. It's been so busy with my final wedding this past weekend, and we've just been playing catch up ever since. But make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so that you can see when I upload week three. Bye.